So here we are looking at the installation of the Wi-Fi camera. Uh, you take one of those uh, plastic pliers, you pop the light out. Then you can tap the two wires uh, coming to uh, to the light. And uh, you have your extension wire that connect to the camera. Just have to tuck that wire back in. And every time your tail lights are on, uh, that will power your camera here. So once the wire are tucked in, you just have the wire on the side of the grommet here. Have a slightly uh, bigger gain antenna uh, that I had laying around, so uh, it might help with the signal. But uh, other than that, it's just what came in the box. So here is a camera inside the trailer uh, attached to the ceiling, so that I can have a whole view of the trailer and uh, just run the cable in the back here to the junction box and just tap the tail light in the ground and I tuck the extra wire in the box and that's it. Uh, and that powers the camera and uh, that will give us a view of uh, the inside while we are traveling. So the first iteration with the antenna inside the trailer uh, had a very weak signal when the door was closed and everything was closed so I just run uh, an extension cord here through the uh, trailer and put an antenna. I had a big one so it was easier for me to secure but the, uh, the small one would probably have worked too. Uh, and I noticed the uh, as the antennas on the dash on the screen are facing up. If you put anything I try to put the antenna at the bottom. The signal is very weak. It's better to have the antenna toward the top of the trailer. So we're going to go for a test drive with this and see how that works. A camera here at the top. Uh, facing forward it catches uh, basically four or five feet behind the trailer there. Uh, the trailer is 27 feet basically for the box plus three feet of tongue so that's 30 feet total for the assembly. Uh, my antennas for the uh, camera inside the trailer is just here and the truck is a 2500 uh, uh, that's a full cab with a standard bed and the screen is installed here at the front. I just use the uh, suction, cup mount, suction cup mount so that I can easily uh, remove it if I don't need it, if I'm not towing. So here starting the, tr the uh, truck. Let me shut the radio off. Um, so here you have the power button to turn the screen on screen is gonna turn and of course there's no signal because I turn, uh, didn't turn my lights on so I'm turning the lights my lights are on on the trailer and here are the uh, two cameras so the one inside the trailer right now using the uh, infrared uh, because it's dark in the trailer the lights are off and that's the one at the back of the trailer and if you stay pressed on the button it's gonna give you both so we're gonna go for a test drive like this with uh, with both uh, cameras and see how that goes. So here we are. We're driving at about uh, 25 miles per hour here. I can see both inside the trailer and on the road. The signal has dropped to two bar on the first camera. It's still at uh, four bar on the one. I'm gonna switch to just inside camera. That's fine. And now just a rear view. Actually, the signal is back to uh, four bar between three and four bar. You can see here with the car passing by. Now I have back the dual view, so everything is uh, working good.